It took a decade at least longer than it should have. But it's great to see that Tom Flores, the legendary Raiders coach, is finally going to be enshrined in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. For those of us who grew up in Los Angeles and for those of us who were all over the country, he showed the world that a Mexican-American can lead. A Mexican-American can lead a team to the championship. Tom Floor is the first person of color to serve as a coach, to lead an NFL team to the Super Bowl, to win a Super Bowl. He is now among the immortals. He won a Super Bowl as a backup quarterback. He won a Super Bowl as an assistant coach, and he won the Super Bowl as a head football coach. Tom Flores is now where he belongs, in Canton, among the greatest of the greats in pro football history. It is such a great moment for all of us. Well, I, I, I became head coach in uh, 1979 after uh, eight years as an assistant coach with the Raiders. And uh, it was time, you know, it was uh, John Mann retired. And I was, I felt I was qualified and I had played for the Raiders. I had played for Al Davis when he was coaching. And I had coached uh, under John Mann before Al Davis. So he knew me pretty well. I knew him pretty well. And, and I think that's one of the reasons that I was considered for the coaching job. I got the job. And it was so tough because it's not an entirely different, entirely different era, an entirely different responsibility as opposed to assistant coach. Playing was great because you played, then you went home. Coaching, you coach, but you stay and work. And you stay and you work. Head coach, you oversee everything. And you're responsible for everything. And the pressure is tremendous. And working for Mr. Davis was uh, was a, a challenge, uh, but it was that was the, that was the job. Uh, I was very privileged that I got it. The fact that I was Hispanic really wasn't a factor. Uh, when he, when he hired me, we were in Oakland. When we, when we moved the team to Los Angeles, uh, one day Al and I were talking. And he said, "You know." You're pretty popular down here. And uh, I looked at him and I said, what do you mean? He said, well, you know, they're, they're, he didn't know how to say it. I said, well, yeah, there are a lot of Hispanic people here. They, they really like the team, they like me. And he said, yeah, that's it, that's it. And after that, that he accepted it, but he had no, he had no idea. He didn't hire me because I was, I was a, a Latino. He hired me because he thought, he thought I could win. The fact that I won, made uh, it made the team more popular uh, but the fact that I was Hispanic made me made the team more popular and Jim Plunkett made us more well way more popular in LA than we were in Oakland and uh, and it got bigger and bigger and bigger and that in itself was kind of overwhelming oh it makes me feel good you know you know it made me feel good because they would uh, when I traveled during the off season, and if I went down into the Southwest, uh, people would come up or kids would come up and say, you know, my mom or my dad or my grandfather, my grandfather saw you win your Super Bowl. And this was before we won, we won the Super Bowl in uh, 83. He said, and he cried. And I said, what? He said, yeah, he, he cried. He was a Hispanic and he, he, see, he, cried. he was so proud that you had won a Super Bowl, and he was so proud that your last name was Flores, and that you're a Latino, that he cried. And I said, "Well, I'll be." I said, "I don't even think my mom and dad cried." Uh, you know, they were my mom and dad, but but that's what I really got the feeling that this is this is way beyond me. I mean, this is this is a feeling that that people are getting around the country because of what we're doing. The team is doing. And I, I happen to be the head coach, and I happen to be Latino. And uh, I, I heard more and more that I used to get fan mail from Mexico. Uh, people wanting autographs were telling me I was their favorite uh, coach or player, and uh, we were their favorite team. And, and uh, it, was, it made me feel good to realize that people uh, were that uh, enamored by 
what we were doing, what I was doing. No, unfortunately, I didn't keep, keep the letters. Uh, uh, There's a couple that I did keep. I have no idea where they were because they were kind of special. But there were a lot of letters, and uh, I have a lot. I have a lot of memorabilia. Well, you've been in the league or in professional football for 60 years. You have a lot of stuff.